Hey there, how's it going? I'm Brandon Yanofsky from mywpexpert.com, and today I want to show you how to use FTP with your WordPress website. So why you might want to use FTP, maybe you're downloading WordPress files to make a backup manually, or maybe you need to transfer your site from one hosting account to another, or maybe you want to manually add themes or plugins. Whatever it is, I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and get access to your site so you can make those changes. So what you need to do first is download an FTP client. I like using FileZilla. It's a free software available on both Mac and PC, and there's a link in the description below. Once you have that, we need to get your FTP credentials for your hosting account. So you can get your hosting credentials directly from your hosting provider. You can either call them, um, sometimes they'll email it to you when you purchased your hosting account, or you can also get it from the control panel. So right now I'm gonna show you how to get your FTP credentials through Bluehost. The process is very similar for most hosts out there. Most hosts use something called a cPanel, which is what I'm in right now, which is just a very basic uh, control panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go down to file management and click on FTP accounts. And I'm gonna create a new FTP account. So I'm just gonna write everything in and then I'll come back. Okay, so I filled in all my information here, gave myself a login, I wrote in a password and said I want to have access to the public HTML directory, which is where all my website files are. And I'm going to create this FTP account. So now it's created. So now that I have the FTP credentials, what I'm going to do is open up FileZilla. And I have that open right here. And I'm going to enter my host. For most hosting companies, the host is just your domain name. So I'm going to be using perryspups.com. Some hosts might do something different where they might have FTP dot your domain name. So for instance, FTP dot Perry'sPups.com or it might be an IP address, which is just a string of numbers. Then I'm going to enter in my username that I created and I'm going to enter in my password. And once I do that, I'll come back. So once I entered in all my information, I click quick connect and it will connect me to my server. And over here on the left hand side, I can browse through the folders and files on my local computer. And on the right hand side, I can browse through the folders and files on my server. So when I log in, I can see a list of all the different websites that are currently on my server. So depending on your hosting account, you might see something different when you initially log in. So you might see a list of files and you might see a file there called public underscore HTML or www. If you click on that, it will actually take you to where we need to be, which will be the public directory of your website. Now, once you click that, if you see a list of all the different websites on your server, you want to go ahead and double click on whichever it is that you want to FTP into. So for instance, if I wanted to FTP into Stressbully, I'll just double click on that. And now I have all the WordPress files that I want to access. If the website you want to access is the main website on your server, then once you enter into the public folder, you would be able to access all those WordPress files here. So you can see I have WP admin, WP content, and WP includes, as well as all these files down here. And those are, again, are all the files that are on the main domain on my server. Now, what can you do on the FTP on your server? Well, I can go ahead and click on any of these files and I'll just right click and I can download them to my computer. So if I wanted to make a backup, I could download all my files and folders. I can also go into my theme files and make any adjustments there if I want to do any custom coding. So to do that, I'm going to go to WP content and I can see my themes folder as well as my plugins folder. So I'll click on my themes folder and I can go into all the different themes and access the files. I can also upload themes so I can manually install them that way as well as manually install plugins. And if I wanted to, I could also do a manual upgrade to my WordPress site. So that's all there is to accessing your website with FTP. The one word of caution I will give you though, if you make changes to files outside of your WP content folder, it might make some things go wrong in WordPress. So I highly recommend that you only make changes to things if you know what you're doing. And most of the time you only need to be making changes in the WP content folder. So that's it for today's tutorial. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at my WP expert videos. And you can also find even more tutorials, reviews, tips, and advice at mywpexpert.com. All right, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later.